Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. It's Juliet Gunmars Creations. I wanted to show you a gadget for something that I made a couple of weeks ago at a workshop at um, Claire Tyler Couture's and it was his slip. So there it is. It's a Cameo Camisole slip and we were learning all about sort of tricky fabrics, satin, silks, viscose, and lace as well. So did some lace work, cut the lace, and sewed that on to make it all beautiful. And at the bottom, cut away the fabric once the lace was actually sewn on. So it gives you this beautiful effect, this see-through effect on the bottom. There. But what I wanted to show you was I used a very good gadget there and it was for these straps which can really be tricky. So once you've turned your um, straps through to the right side, I mean that's a whole different gadget, but this gadget was really good for getting a lovely flat strap like this i'll show you so this is a strap that i've sewn and as you can see it's got a tendency to want to curl this is only viscose but it's you know it's one of those delicate light fabrics but that's that's the difficult thing is it tends to want to turn and twist so it's these a loop pressing bar so once you have got your strap the right way around, then you put whichever size, because this has got uh, five different sizes in it, um, then you put whichever bar fits your strap or your um, strip of fabric. And this has actually got the millimetre, so it's six millimetre, nine, 12, 15, and 18. So the most difficult part, honestly, was getting into that packet. Goodness me, once you've done that, this, this is nothing. So what you do, start doing, is you thread your pressing bar, it's an iron going off, the pressing bar through your strap, making sure that you've got the sewing line, your line of sewing on one edge, like that. Then you just press with an iron. Now you may need to cover your fabric with something. My iron, you don't need to, but um, you might need to do that. And then you move it along, move the bar along and do the next bit. So all the while you are keeping that sewing line, that seam to one fine edge of your bar like that. So there we are, a pressed strap, which is very, very thin. And you might think to yourself, well, I don't need one of these pressing bars. I can just do this. But the pressing bar does two things. One, have you ever tried to press something this thin out at the seam? It is quite difficult to get that crisp edge ironed and pressed out. The other thing is the bar stops it. It stops that twisting of your seam going around the strap as well. So you get a perfectly flat, beautiful strap every time. So there it is. I will put a link to where I got mine uh, in the box below and I hope you enjoyed that because I thought it's going to make my life so much easier when I make straps, whether that be straps on bags or, or more delicate ones on um, things like cameo tops and things. So happy sewing everyone and thanks for tuning in again. See you next week. Bye for now.